So I ditched my MacBook Pro for a Lenovo laptop. I kind of got fed up that if I pay $1,500 to $2,000 for a laptop, these things just keep failing on me. And the last two years I had a MacBook Pro. It was a 13 inch with the touch bar thing going on. And after a while, the screen started failing. It started developing these um, like yellow spots on the screen. And then the keyboard started having issues. So I got rid of it and then I got uh, the newer MacBook Air that came out last year. It was supposed to have a better keyboard and no issues. So now keep in mind, my laptop is not my main machine. I built the computer a few years back and since then I'm just keep upgrading it. And I just feel more comfortable in a desktop. So mostly I work on a desktop and not a, and not a, a laptop. But I need a laptop, I travel sometimes um, out of the office or out of home when I need my laptop or I don't know just lying in bed I want to do something so I use it so I keep one around usually my MacBook Air it started failing again the keyboard and it's suddenly decided that dead pixels are amazing for for design work so it started developing dead pixels on the screen and I hated every minute of it so Again, I got rid of it and I started looking again and seeing which, which MacBook wasn't failing um, and I had no luck. I decided to go to the dark side and after much research, I settled on a Lenovo laptop. Mostly, those things are sturdy. I wanted to run Linux, so it made sense. Um, also, I like the price point. Uh, I got a Lenovo X395. The main reason is I'm in love with AMD products. I think they're making amazing products, and this was an AMD laptop. 8 gigs of RAM and uh, 256 gig SSD, and it was only for like 650 bucks. And Lenovo delivered it in two days, and it's been working great. Uh, here's a quick unboxing video. So I've been using the X395 for about three weeks now. Uh, again, it's not running Windows, it's running Linux. Uh, and it's been a great computer so far. It's a great computer. If you're a developer, I highly recommend it. Uh, if you are thinking about switching from the Apple ecosystem from to a MacBook Pro, uh, uh, what's my recommendation? It depends. If you do development work, if you do video editing, uh, it might not be the laptop for you. It's a great laptop, but it has this drawback. The screen is not that great. It's a touch screen, but it's not that great really. Colors are not very nice. The PPI uh, on the screen is, is good. I mean, it's a HD screen and a 13 inch. It has more than pixels per inch than you need. And it looks sharp, but colors are not amazing. So if that's what your main use is for, stick to something else. If you're looking, if you're a developer, amazing machine. $600, $650 will get you an amazing machine that'll sturdier than a MacBook Pro and it's really very fast. I would recommend it for that. That's it. That's kind of my review of the X395. Um, I'm definitely keeping it uh, for a long time, I think. I like having Linux on the go. I like what it has. It feels sturdy. I'm not sure how uh, how it's gonna stand the test of time. Uh, if something's gonna fail, from what I read online, they're really, stu they're really sturdy, uh, but we'll have to see. 
for now, yeah, just want to shoot this quick video uh, if you are thinking on or having issues with MacBook Pros or thinking about switching to something else. Highly recommend this machine. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it uh, on the uh, Lenovo website. Um, and it's a good second machine to have or main machine if your work is not uh, depending on a very high fidelity screen or color, something like that. All right, that's it. Cheers.